Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and evening and amazing spectacular propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master propaganda here, like defender of the fatherland, off here to a 1v1 on film approach in the north of this Tiramiso, fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, rolling out here with the 6th Panzer Division here, featuring Ostrom, Lightning War, and German infantry with infantry Panzer Fast as the Southeast, Kral Hodjov, I'll just call him Kral, fighting here for the Red Army, the Soviet Union, Comrade Stalin. And the 10th Mechanized Corps here with airborne troops featuring airdrop weapons, paradrop air machine guns, airborne rally points, guards, airborne troops, and of course the Sturmovik rocket Roman infantry mines. We got Ostrom, Lightning War, and German infantry here for Tiramisu. Gun at the MD42 for Tiramisu. Double conscripts for Kral. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my personal company here, my patron supporters, these champions, these heroes who keep me in the business. You too can join the ranks by pledging on Patreon. You can also just donate. A link's are in the video description. The simple link to cheers. Thank you what? No, cheers. I went too fast there. Anyways, comment, like, share, subscribe, press the bell button. Sorry, you know, when you gotta do things like, you know, sometimes things slightly mess up in order. Good lord. That one's embarrassing, though. But I'm gonna keep it there because I'm honest about my embarrassments. Triple console there for Kral. Heading south to the Pioneers. Bart up there. Comes around the southern point. Sandbags up here. More gonna do this there for Tiramiso. And they're sitting out there for Tidamis as well, standard stuff there. Bit of a spread out approach is also the Verma. It's a bit more risky, depending on how you go about it. At least the machine gun is not the one all out on, on a limb of its own. Comes back towards the center, machine gun. Well, it can't easily hit it due to the building. I'm not entirely sure it popped in there, didn't get into the building at least, but the way conscripts had to work there, laying down sandbags, grabbing points, and using eastwards. Southern position being slowly infiltrated there by Kral as well. Almost got the center victory point. Gunny is grabbing the point here, second squad arriving. Very quiet here in the first few moments of the game. No shots yet fired. Mostly sandbags, barbed wire, and someone scratching their ass. And there you go. First shots fired. He empty photo up in the conscripts. 200 rounds per minute. Right into the ass there. Petrov sending him packing with a new need for underwear since, well, the other ones are filled with, well, holes in blood. Fourth conscript on the way to Kral. So, yeah, that's going to be a lot of S50-40s there. No real surprise. Really effective upgrade. Really gives the conscripts a good punch. Both, you know, on the move and just standing still. So really just a very solid upgrade. We got the West Hill Contra Ground being pursued by the Pioneer. Got an to deal with it as well. Very good. Machine and occupying the center. Third one is what almost done here for Tidamis. And there you go. Carp one hit. Not that it's really cutting anything off at the moment, but you know, it's the idea. It's the implied threat you can do to like other cutoff points as well. Got of the Pioneers in the south. Back here, Conscript ready. Could go for some grenades soon or medics. And he's pursuing the conscript. We can look back the conscript there, quickly route it. Kral there, very good in preservation. Just hops them off there as soon as he hears those rounds coming in the general direction. Preserves his infantry. Very well. Tito Miso taking himself. Very good. And I do believe Kral, there we go, is going for the grenade package. No, cancels it. Perhaps playing with medics. May mayhaps a misclick. Or he has decided he doesn't need it. Who knows? Tito Miso going for four grenadiers. So. Lightning War German Infantry, very likely, since if you're going for that many of these, you obviously intend to upgrade them with something a bit more punchy, I think. So I think German Infantry obviously make a lot of sense personally, but I mean, it could be Lightning War. Pony is caught, they've managed to uh, wire themselves stuck, even like new changes. You can still wire yourself stuck in this, apparently, so you know, be mindful of where you wire in the future, people. Going for a place in Pioneer Squad still. That's going to slow down to the a bit. That's not 200 manpower taking towards like infantry or light vehicles like the Mechanized Company. That's just 200 manpower straight down the toilet. So <laughs> that's great there for Tidemir. So a nice little uh, opportunity wipe there for Kral. No weapons being dropped in. He's got munitions though for two S50-40s to be dropped down. There's two crates of them. There we go. First one dropping. Also, you know, I think Nier Squad, but it's not no medics. It's about having the manpower for it or the grenade upgrade. So hard to say that what he's planning. You got the gunners pushing forwards in the south. You got the gunners with the controls there. Right here from Kral's forces. North engineers sneak about there for Kral and back here. Tech almost done. Pioneers at the ready to get that light mechanized company up. Holding the fuel point here away from the Soviets as Kral is probing Tiramisu's front line. The Khan squad here thinks going to have to retreat eventually. It's like it's bought him some time and kept the victory point out of Tiramisu's hands, but. At the same time, it's come at a fairly high price, but they just really haven't done any damage to Tidamisa at all. Scrams around the building, contacting mine losses up north here. We've got the engineers at the ready, possibly planning mines. 
At least getting a flamethrower. I'd like to make a nice company up there for Tiramisu. So good. Could soon again consider going on the Lightning War German Infant to get those colonies upgraded. I mean, it also possibly is just planning once to go for light machine guns. Can't rule that out either. I'd like to make a nice company done. Machine did pull back. Caught here the conscripts narrowly before they popped out of the Ark of Fire there, but uh, Gunners are running to save the day. Very good. Going for the armored car there. 222. Two, two, two. Light the Panzer Speedwagon. In the south, here, Gunners was the conscript. Already low on health. Kralda decides not to push it any further as the Gunners could quickly finish them off. So that is at least one squad upgraded. Maybe another one soon to be. Support and company for Kralda. Very good. Thumbs up. Armored car almost done, and now can either go Lightning War German Infantry to get this gun near something a bit more punchy in terms of upgrades. Of course, might be planning lot machine guns all along. But so far, no sign anything. Lost the gun near squad for placing it, I believe. No, they didn't. Apparently, he just went for three brief look like he was going for. Okay, cancels it. So it seems like he can't quite make up his mind. And there's still been no uh, sound of like any sort of dot or choice there. So. Clearly a bit of indecision here from Tino Miso in the face of Kral, who's just going for more weapon drops. But Kral has a much clearer plan, whereas Tino Miso can't quite seemingly fully commit. This could be a possible opening here for Kral to exploit this Tino Miso, uh, depending on you know, how this goes. I'm covering about. No anti-tank grenades here, so the armor car's going to great time. Of course, Tino Miso may not be aware of this, though with all their forces you should be seen dropping down. It wouldn't be half bad to assume your opponent's probably not going to have like, enough munitions for anti-tank grenades. Waiting for the next to get done there. More gun leads. So against we got light machine guns. Nope, cancel the gun leads for again. So I'm guessing definitely not German infantry. At that point, you definitely want to like you know not upgrade your menus light machines in those cases. I mean, some players could theoretically mix light machines and better gun leads, but you just never see that. You just never see that. So most likely lightning war here for Tiramis at this point. I mean, it could be a late Austrian choice. Well, theoretically, German infantry, but considering how most players go for it for this, you know, veteran school leaders, that seems a tad unlikely to me. That's not to say the Doctor only has the veteran school leaders off. The Salt and Cold is a great ability, the Storm is a good, the Fragmentation Bomb is great, and of course, the half tech is fairly decent as well, so it's not like you know, it's all about that. It's just what typically people boil it down to. See some way for Cloud, Pack 40 ready, good uh, reading situation. Have a Tidemus repair the Pack 40 ahead of time. Some players like to be ahead on the curve there. Others like to just wait for the thing to arrive before then going for an anti tank gun. Weapon rubber there to be picked up by Kral's forces. Armor car then getting the conscripts. I'm guessing more light machine guns. Yes, indeed. Still no sign of a doctoring for Tidemus so. up. But again, at this point, I'm very much betting the light war. Fourth gun is being attempted again. I think you should be going for pens gun honestly. And, I mean, again, it's not like four gun ideas because the light machine guns is bad, but you know, if you're going to go for four gun ideas, I strongly would recommend veteran school leaders, to be honest. Well, that's just me. Continuing forwards. I'm counting the countries there. So we'll have to see what Tidomiso's plan here is with all of this. As it's definitely a bit sort of, shall we say, hidden in the fog of war. TC 1940 for Kral, gonna go for that armored car pack 40. Is nearby though, could catch the TC in a good shot there. And there we go, punch right through the armor with ease. Comes to charging in the armor coming at him for supporting. Comes to their corporate in, forging suppress the point blank range and forced away with some casualties to follow. Up north there, we got a few raiders from Tilamuso hitting the northern field point. Thumbs up. Armor car heavily damaged, five kills though. Tilamuso's map control there looking slightly hazardous compared to Kral's, which is really well. Ahead there on map in a lot of cases, but two points wise, Kral also has a strong lead over Tidar Miso. Trips reinforcing healing here. Gonna need MD4 to move forwards. Should get some more light machine guns going soon. As for what next team is going to be doing, I mean, taking up now wouldn't be a half bad idea. Choosing a doctor obviously would be great. Going for a pants gun in court or a mortar could also be excellent options right now for Tidar Miso or a second MD4 to shoot. But there you go, Tidar Miso here, not slowing down in timings. Two thumbs up. Game that's uh, tech going right now already, so very good. Then you can just get the building up, and then once he has the armor or your resource for the whatever he wants to get, he can then immediately go for it. As always, I find times can be a bit crucial in particular when it comes to the armor. And you'll see some plays they tend to fumble a bit with these timings. Like, you know, they're trying to rush, but you know, they then do an absolutely terrible rush, and they just like you know at the same time skip the tier, which then typically just makes the situation even worse. 
and sometimes you can just like get timings down correctly can affect you like do it fast when someone's actually rushing if you know what you're doing which so fast when you watch Tidemi is doing so thumbs up the Tidemi is even like Matt Patoli isn't quite in his favor he at least seems to have nailed the timings fairly well I'm North here going to use about the Kate for the country court charting force into the LMG 42 and he's doing what the can with the Khan on TKs Generally, the German infantry squad was very much made around the machine gun. Basically, you had a gun and a supporting gun, but effectively, the entire squad was designed, you know, in a sense, like support the machine gun when actually carrying ammunition for it as well. Fun fact. In more fun fact, the major distinction between Grenadiers and Panzergrenadiers was not assault rifles, but in fact that the Panzergrenadiers squad had two light machine guns. Again, they're obviously a lot more firepower on the move. So, problem can't. I'm a cop there for Tiramisa, very good, thumbs up. Took reinforcing healing in the base. Give me his route it. Mortal on the way there for Tiramisa. I mean Kral, not Tiramisa. Good move there by the course by Kral. Very good, like to be tend to get a bit of a look by some players, but I find is quite useful in providing, well, good support. It's just one of those force multipliers. That may not be in a sense flashy or big, but you know, it's quite handy in terms of utility. But it does require a bit of management, and some players tend not to be hugely keen on that. Kai Kai comes, gonna do something up as well. There's seven kills, reps into one. And her tank grenade off there. Nice throw by Carl's men. Comes with right, he almost wiped out, but still two fuel pushing for brief while he does have up Kral a bunch and slows down Tidamisu's armor push himself. But Kral suffers a wipe there. Excellent kill there for Tidamiso. Still, good map harassment here by Kral. Really doing a great job then just denying Tidamiso as many resources as possible. Making it harder for Tidamiso to rush out that armor. At this point, Tidamiso could theoretically try and rush for an Ospin, though going for Panzer IV might be safer. But I think an Ospin rush here would be well within, I think, acceptable parameters and possibilities. Fourth Gunny Squad, they need a machine gun. Still no doctrine for Tina Miso. Still nothing there. I mean, if he's going for lightning warps, it's not like he's going to have a lot to do with it until then. I mean, theoretically, tactical movement, but it doesn't do a chat like that. It could be relief infantry, maybe. It's too close up to the tight. I mean, again, this we got lightning war, while certainly a handy doctrine. If you're not using, like, you know, for example, the Jaeger like, infantry upgrades and all that, like, a lot of the rest of the doctrine does tend to fall off a bit here. I'm typically not again not a fan of just going for a dock and simply for one thing. Like if I would usually want to like go for a dock because it make as many you know abilities useful to me. For example, like German infantry, where I typically tend to like, you know, make use of the veteran scorpions, the stormtroopers, the open hold, fragmentation bombs, even the half track. Anyways, big push here for the center, contributing forts there, right into Tiramisu's massive yawning force gap here. Good tactical sense there, but Kral really punished Tiramisu here for leaving the gap open there to a big infantry push. We do get another machine gun, which is great, but the mortar again is not like off the charts. Uh, the Ospin, I mean, off the charts here for Tiramisu. Got the mortar at work for Kral, the PM4182 millimeter mortar. Armor can't get the concept, gun is moving out. But there we go, once more Tidamis was being denied fuel. At this point, he should actually strongly consider laying down some S mines on the fuel point just to make it harder for Kral to just run some conscripts up on it. That I think would make things a bit harder for Kral in the harassment department Tidamis' fuel. But again, really good harassment here, really good disruption. We got Tidamis especially in Pioneers Norfolk, we got the point there. Comes rushing forward, pack 40 machine move here. Getting hosed down here by Hay Fire, and we got someone dropping dead there from very high above. Look at me, mother, I'm flying! <laughs> My god, Jürgen, what was that? Oh, you know. I'm sure he's gonna was going to be a cosmonaut or something. A what? Cosmonaut? I don't get you, Ludwig. Armor can't get any near there. Then he's flanking up behind them. Very good. Going to send the victory point. Carl continues to, I think, enjoy a strong victory point leader with Tim is definitely something Tim is also wants to work on. Again, could go for the Osprey now. I mean, even like, you know, Kral were to, like, you know, set up the mechanized time and come like, you know, fast T-34s and 6 not going to be possible, though, of course, Tidamiso is probably not aware of this. So, Panzer IV is the safe choice, but I do think an Ospin rush here would have been, again, you know, acceptable. It wouldn't have been, I think, an entirely flawed calculation to make by Tidamiso. But Panzer IV, safe, solid, you know, nothing wrong there. 
nothing wrong at all, in fact. Frontling caught with a gun that is in the armored car. Negative cover, of course, makes it more damaging for them. Further catches piling up there in the middle of the damn road. We got the panther one over for Tiramisu. Attack for Kral. Gonna be a T34 from 6. Concentrating right over the armored cars. So the gun it is a torrent of fire there, which really just pushes back Kral's infantry as they cannot push through this veritable fortress of lead. Machine wing forwards here for Tiramisu. Still no doctrine, though. Still no doctrine. Tiramisu in pursuit of the Pionera. Close of a T2. Back hits with reinforcing healing. In the south, they're going to lose ground the point. Panther 4 almost done. Panther T70. Ooh, bolt here, but looks like it will come the kill on the T70 and cost him the gun of the ears. Yep. And a light machine gun drop is definitely a bit more awkward. That set conscious with the upgrade. Cannot grab it, but the engineers can make a run for it. But still. Yeah, I'd say it was slightly decent shape for Tiramisu, so the engineers grab the machine and makes it slightly less great. I mean, it's still kind of expensive for the Germans, but getting rid of the T-70, of course, still has a huge of implications here for Tiramisu. So there's just less for something to worry about, and it does replace them, the gun with Pentagon Vs, so thumbs up to that one, at least. Mechanos, I'm a company over here for Kral. Can soon go for the T-34-6. More Pioneers for Tiramisu, so very good. Panzer come find on the move, bit uh, lacking in the machine gun. We got mines hitting Kral, though. Very good. Thumbs up. Not a lot, though, but some. And some are better than none, unless you're the one who has to walk into the minefield, in which case you do prefer none. <coughs> Finish with the engineers. Shot fire. Damage, engineers, it hits the mine. That set car hasn't gone for a single field gun, by the way. And so there's no way of quickly catching up on the Panther the Strong. Yes, of course, going for the T-34-6, but that will still take some time to get there. So by that time, they derives the Panther IV. We'll probably be back in base, or repair the rate to move out again to consist the T-34-6. Still, once more, center wide open. Crowd once more exploits. Swoops in, doesn't care about the Panther IV because it's got the damage. And you can just go straight for the points and cut them off. That said, Tiramisu is doing the same in the north here, so you know. Good work there by Tiramisu. Armored car rushing in. Pack 40 at the ready. Machine gun support. And we got two Pioneer Squads there. Hard work figures up the Panther IV. Plus, the Panther IV there apparently got delayed again and is now being made again. So we are approaching the 20 minute mark and Tinamiso has yet to make a doctrinal choice. Still nothing near which I find slightly concerning as always. Again, my tip of advice is pick a doctrine for 20 minutes, which is obviously a bit of an arbitrary distinction, but you know, just say 20 minutes and if that he goes any longer than that, typically, well not entirely arbitrary, but you know, typically like, you know, 20 minutes, like, you know, you can usually get everything you can in a doctrine anyway, so you haven't chosen anything by then. You know, you might want to like just pick some entirely different doctrines to have there. Anyways, comes to the to get wiped out. Great kill here for Tiramiso. Definitely beating out Kral here, which is definitely something Kral wants to be very mindful of. As, you know, full wipes like that, it's not something sustained for very long. At that point, you start losing veteran infantry too fast, which can make it more difficult to like, maintain the fight. On the way, can soon go for another T-34-6. Tiramiso could go for Stuki, could also go for an Ospin. Of course, we may just decide to go for a second Panda 4. All are, again, well within calculations. And fairly acceptable. Finish ground the point T, going to work there. We shall, of course, see what Tiramiso does. There we go, Panda 4, ambition the T-34-6. Pack 40 joining in, but misses. Lucky there from Kral. But that, the luck kind of stops. We've got both Pack and Pantherful punching through there. Rocket strike in, he grabs it now. Oh! Turn the tables here on Tiramisu, turning a bad situation into a striking opportunity, knocking out the Panzer IV before Tiramisu is about to get out of there. Thumbs up there to Kral. Thumbs up. Devious, but effective. And can quickly replace his T-34. Tiramisu though can also soon replace the Panzer IV. So, not quite a perfect trade, but for T for Kral, I would say it was nonetheless a very good maneuver because he was going to lose that T-34 out of the way if he can take the Panzer IV down with it. Good. I'm a couple with 30 kills. Really highlighting how powerful the 2-2 can be in the right hands. Again, it's not you know, like you know quickly devastating the entire squad in one go, but it can just like provide constant bleeding. 
draining and harassment, particularly also retreating units. It's actually quite good at like carrying them and getting some extra kills in there. And like a pair of armored cars can actually occasionally like score a full wipe than retreating depleted unit. Big push in the south here from Kral in Pani. He's put your phone about in the face of that. Panda form away. There we go. Armored car continue to engage here. More crew in trouble here. Another T Fed for ready to miss it with another Panda 4. Yeah, we have hit the 20 minute mark, and Tinamisu has still yet to choose the doctrine. I mean, again, I'm guessing Lightning Roar, but again, typically these stages, you know. You might want some other doctrines then. At least because it's strange if you can't involve any of the doctrines, would be another way to put it. Machine gun there closing in the halfway to bed between two there, constantly being suppressed, It'll likely get pinned down soon here. Set using the spate to allow the teeth for things to move up there on the machine gun and keep it around for a bit longer. And there we go, wipes it beautiful. Going for the gun that he is next. T for definitely going a bit for a rambage here. And he's destroying the machine gun there, and so is Kral. <laughs> both worried the other one's going to grab it, so they both destroy it. Scorched Earth Tactics bringing armies together like nothing else. Meanwhile, another machine to replace one lost there for Tita Mesa. Very good. Thumbs up. But yeah, Tita Mesa is definitely a much stronger situation in terms of Mac Patrol versus Kral. The victory points wise, Kral still has to lead, but Tita Mesa is not able to sort of shut it down a bit. And there you go. Field on the way there for Kral. Probably thinking at this point he is going to need it here versus Tita Mesa's Panzerwaffe. That's one for like. Very good there. Still would recommend him directly on the point here, but this is a fairly good spot too. Tifo <coughs> flanks, more t mines here, there's some telemines from Tito so thumbs up though. Bit too obviously done there, right under Kral's nose, but still a good idea. Can't the center right about the gun it is, the pants gonna pants are all being fixed up. Still nothing further here for Tito in terms of doctrine. Carl still some time away from another T-34-6 to harry and harass his opponent with. Current units with the Panzer Grenadier. <clears throat> Routed almost got a wipe. Fixing up the Panzer IV. Another pack forward there for Tidemiso. Feels like a target stall, he might be going for Tier 4 there. I mean, you could just go for Stug, but just to say, wait a bit longer for another Panzer IV. Like, second pack 40 only makes sense. Like, if you're seriously expecting heavy armor, which Timmy or uh, Cloud can't go for because there's some doctrine for it. Again, he's like trying to stall out then. At least that to me sort of be the uh, primary modes of thought. T 5 from the gun of the the light machine gun's plinking away harmlessly at the arm of the T 34 and 6. Of course, I have to see if he does go for it, but. Again, it seems like the Tidamiso is playing tier 4 here now versus Kral, which of course is going to be a huge opportunity for Kral to then sort of overwhelm Tidamiso in the meanwhile. More weapon drops here to replace the, give up the remaining cards from the weapons. Still, I think you should consider 4th infantry squad, some guards airborne could be a nice pick here for Kral versus Tidamiso. North here, Panzer goes riding the conscripts, backed up by the Punira. And there we go, it is indeed tier 4 there for Tidamiso. So. If Kral can somehow suss that one out, and again he may do so looking at the double packs, then he could possibly, you know, try and put more pressure on Tinamisa right now. Because if he can, again, it's going to be much harder than for Tinamisa to stall for it, anyways. Hand towards the conscript, shoots misses, could choose your rocket launcher for Kral. The old pack's opening up, they need to get the T-Fed out of there. But yeah, now I know since the old pack's out, so again, we'll have to see the car then, of course, next the elite there. That, you know, again, his opponent is likely stalling for something big, which again, if he then exploits this, could be quite effective. We've got a rock strike against the Panda 4. Oh, nice read in the situation. He takes it out. A stinging blow there to Tito Miso. Really good read in the situation there, but yeah, Kral there. And he pretty much predicted where Tito Misa would go with it as well. Beautiful. Thumbs up there to Kral. Michigan, the final, the country was pressing them. There you go. 
Kentucky Rocket Launch gone. But this is going to make it harder then for Tilly to go for what he wants to in terms of stalling. Like, now he doesn't even attack, meaning the infant's going to take the, you know, the brunt of the bleeding. Which, of course, means it's going to be harder than to save up the resources for whatever big thing he wants. Because, I mean, no matter what, they're going to cost a lot of man, probably a tiger, panther, storm panzer. They will all be quite manpower intensive. And if the infant has to do all the fighting until then, it's going to be quite, you know, tough to just be able to save up that manpower easily. There's another reason why you typically want these to couple of tanks. Because, again, if the tanks are the ones drawing most of the fire, you've also suffered just less manpower bleeding long term. And he does have two heavy machine guns, which can help offset that a bit. But even then, the Katusha can help with that. Almost got the HMG crew there. Really close call there for Tidemus and the Gunnies here. As the others also close being snuffed out. But I can't even even the Katusha rocket launcher. But they do survive. In fact, he ended up here at the front line. Thumbs up. Still no doctrine from Tidemisa though. Still no doctrine. Slowly approaching the 30 minute mark, and Tidemisa has yet to pick anything. Grams on the point. Different pushing out the pioneers up north. Chicken holding out. Tifa going about. Pioneers being shoot with the conscripts. Going to through the center as well. Constant the first of the MD42 ace level. And there you go heavy pants cop for Tidamisu. Kral comes and go for another T3476. This is there reloading all of those damn rockets. Enemy forces are <clears throat> our territory. Cops are falling back. Better quiet once more. As Kral is lining up for the next bit of push. And of course, Tidamisu is now very much in a fully defensive footing as he's stalling for whatever he wants to get from here. Unless it's a tiger tank. Otherwise, he's going to be stalling for something big, but we're still not seeing a doctor here from uh, Tidami, so we are still not seeing a doctor, and we're against almost at 30 minutes into the game. Producer's ready to fire again. Tidami is a bunch of pack forward. This is a bit surprising. I mean, it seems like he's almost forgotten the Katushi already, which can happen really when so much is going on there, but that's definitely like a great Katushi target here for Kral. That is an amazing Katushi target. Now the T34 on 6 there for Kral. Bring in more armor. We do get the Panther here for Tidemir, so the Panzer comes back in Fünf. We got 3 and 2 bodies for Fünf 40. Panzer Captain the comes with Brandon with ease. Several men drop dead, and there you go, machine defending the con in the country by the side of the field. T4 strike north, it's catching the H machine gun there in a slight yoke position further up north. You can use this the Pioneer. Machine needs to get out of there. Panther slowly getting ready here for Tidemir, so Routed right here, and there you go, Katusha 5 around the center, I imagine. Nope, it's around the machine gun. Rockets mostly in the dirt, perhaps a few squirrels hiding in the tree line behind, but crucially, no Germans. There you go, T-34 out there. Second one for Kral, Panther's almost done for Tiramiso. Great hit from the pack forward in the T-34, punching straight through the side armor like a hot knife through butter. Pants have engaged with the T-34 from 6, shot fired, whiffed. T-34 got north, finished with the conscript. Panther sitting out there for Tidamiso. Hitting the conscript, shoots, whiffs. Pin on machine halfway done. Against the conscripts, and they like killing there. Conscripts in the center here as Tidemus is pushing forward for Deutschland. Disc game bound here for Crowd. Rather late for that one, but never too late, I'd say. Never too late. You know, you'd think you'd go for him much sooner than he actually has. And he's getting hammered here. Field and fire continue to rain down from above, but most are going a bit far. There we go. Tifa running. Fine, he's in trouble. Down to two men. Quick descent packing. Back at Tripid Force and Healing for Tidamiso. Panther setting out there for Tidamiso for Deutschland. North, you got the pun uses the conscripts. Panther 
Pony is running back here. Keep on getting the gun of gears, firing away there with its main gun. Rifling at the machine gun, doing some light damage there. Very good. North Country and Northern Munitions. Feeling the quality with the Grenadiers, taking some minor losses there, so the bullets tear through. Machine joining in the heavier one. Panther moving forwards here for Tiramiso. North here, Pompey, excuse me, Machine Gun Crew. We got 277 to 336. Still no doctor for Tiramiso. Machine Crew there being hammered by rockets. And Tidamiso is forced to pull back before it gets annihilated by Russian rocket artillery. Pampering forwards here. One kill so far with these machine guns. Heading down in the infantry. Very good. In the south here, T Fed for holding back. We've got an using for the south flank there. Of north, a small attempt here to grab northern point from Tidamiso is underway and seems to be working out there. So Carl has only a small uh, rear guard detachment to hold the point there. T Fed for running back, backed up with a machine gun. Filming by the machine gun, pampering up. T Fed rocked to engage that. Packed, joining in the tank for the T-34 armor with ease. And there goes about to lose the T-34 from the Panther Russian forts here. Hits the machine crew instead. That's kind of awkward. And falls for back now. He can't finish off the T-34. Panther disengaging swiftly. And takes a punch and hit it from the field gun as it punches through the front lumber with ease. Up north at Point Mixies with the Pioneers. In the south here, Panzer going to be pursuing. But there you go. T-34 six around the corner and... Tidamiso narrowly avoids some heavy losses as he shoots the retreat button. Close call there. Close call. A bit slowed up in a white. Punts of effort for Tidamiso. Yeah. Still feel like he needs a doctrine very badly. At least that makes me a bit more comfortable. Another field gun here for Kral. Keep enforcing. Panther takes another hit here from the field gun as it once more cleaves through the armor. As if there does nothing. Gish moving towards the center gun. He's catching the counter there. We've got a Molotov off on the Grenadier, burning them up. Packs holding up here and there. Go machine gun with the counter. Panther holding back here as well. Two kills. Half eight veterans, one roughly. Panther ever ready there for Tidamiso. Tifa remains in the seven the south. Katusha there ready to fire. Still only a one kill, some. Bit unlucky there for Karal, but I also think like he's just not like trying to like hit the obvious targets, like the double patch, for example. So perhaps also just slightly uh, questionable artillery targets. Mortar meanwhile has done five kills, ace level. Doesn't look like he's actually used the barrage ability much, which I think is a bit of an oversight. Tim is pushing forward to the gun. machine gun pack backing up as well. They got 2036 with 336. Hunt of effort flying away there, a full 10 rockets against Cloud's positions. Got a few field gun crew kills. Katusha took some light damage as well. News right about the Panzer Grenadier. Cloud could soon go for another T 34 from 6. Of course, also has the rocket run ready, so that Panther could quickly get knocked out if this Tilamiso is not careful. I mean, he's already lost two tanks to these rocket runs, and in the Panthers, that tally is probably not far off, honestly. Rushing head with it there. Limited infantry support, which is always risky. Mortify running down. Going from straight to the disc, then in the center. Further up north, we got the T-54 going for it. We got 11 kills, 52. Katusha Barrage off. Up against what? Oh, there you go. This time, the machine gun is not the pack foys. Again, they're really bunched up. But there you go. This time, utterly annihilating the machine gun crew and the machine itself. That is just a lot of experience going there on top of the weapon. Great kill there for uh, Kral's rocket launcher. Southern field weapon grabbed here. We got 215 versus 336. Mortifier rang down there. We got six kills on it now. Panther on the move here. Tifa is rolling up for Kral and the Red Army. 
unfortunate the engineers can this flank as well. Clutch which one of the heavy machine gun team. Panther for Barrage and using held against class positions, looking to silence the machine gun crew and does get several kills in there. Pushing into almost red one, but not quite. Not quite. Panther moving forward to his deadly for Tidamiso. Both field and charge actually bounce off the side of it. That's fairly lucky there for Tidamiso. Fairly lucky. Skirmishing under the southern field point. Tidamiso, I feel like it's focusing too much in the center. They're not on their sides again. It's not focusing much on the resources, which is making easier think for Kyle again to just dominate the rest of the net and get up such a massive resource advantage, which again makes it harder for Tidamiso to fill up with anything. You got another machine here for Tidamiso. At this point, I think you should consider more sword infantry or a mortar or something else. Panther for awesome goals would be great here. T-34, they've engaged with the Panther. That's it. Tidamiso needs to come diving with the Panther to front. So we should be, of course, aware of the possibility of a rocket strike plus the field guns, which could leave Tidamiso feeling very sad about his Panther. North there, pounding grab by crowd. we got Tidamiso towards the center here slowly. Machine number two almost done there for Tidamiso. Carl could soon go for a third, but he's also got a lot of munitions for now. 400 munitions here versus Tidamiso. He's almost got 300 munitions. And at this point, I'd always just recommend Lightning War again just for the close air support since they could help us the armor. That was German infantry for the fragmentation bomb, and I do think you should just take a doctrine, like just get something going there, Tidamiso. Schnelly. There's the conscript before he's joining in. Machine being hammered by the rockets. Narrowly gets away. We got seven kills on it. That's into one. Lost an infantry squad. That bit of problem for Kral if he loses too much infantry. Pioneers ground the sun. The victory point. Very good. Heading north. It's from the troop dump. Lex looks like they're going to try and flank in there. Using this path to get in behind the machine guns. Arca fine cleared out. Very good. Then certainly the Panthers is up probably the most well suited for the task. More conscripts plus a weapon drop at the same time for Kral. Very good. Bomb grenade off. Panther moving in. Do you feel like, you know, uh, Lightning Ward jumping from just there? Support abilities right now be fairly good here for Tidamiso. Panther going for a dive into the base. Bold and aggressive here from Tidamiso. Bold and aggressive. Of course, the Kraft doesn't get like it rammed and rocketed like he did with his previous tank centers and his base. See? Holding up the south, ground the center. Panther Vefer Barrage unleashed into the base of Kral and the Red Army. Well, oh, actually, not. I thought it was, but actually, Brown Team just hitting absolutely nothing. Bug roll. But there you go. Got a wipe on the pet. I mean, it's a bit painful there for Tina Mesa. A bit painful. Kral sort of holding out nicely. Tina Mesa struggling. Panthers trying to get some damage on the problem is it's a Panther, it's not particularly great on his own. He's sort of pushing up their terrain. Needs more infantry support, and that's also what Tinamis is really bad lacking now. Infantry. And the doctrine. Just gonna thing wiped out there. Close thing exterminate entirely as Kral keeps up the attack here. Different getting none of these flying away, they're more field bombardments. In the south. Conscripts and Genesis in the center field point there away from Tidamiso once more. Graham Northern one back here though, Tidamiso. Could go for the victory point next. We've got 125 to 1536. The lead for Tidamiso of Kral is growing greatly over Tidamiso. Pampling fixed up there. Pitches a barrage on the pack 40. And here's the Pioneers as well. Is there a mortar round? No, it's the Pioneers. They're getting wiped actually. Excellent kill there, leaving Tidamiso now with no Pioneers to repair his armor as well. That's actually quite stick a bit for Tidamiso. That's going to be a man from Vince Ben on that round, say more armor, which he also crucially needs right now. Storm Panzer for Tidamiso. Storm Panzer for you. I also think trying to stall for the target, oh, trying to go for a target at this point might be slightly more viable, but that's just me. Northern Victor thinks he's a few uh, plucky grenadiers. MD42 versus Engineers for the MD42. Tifa in Norfolk, comes with backing up there. 108. Versus 336. Storm almost done. There you go. Going to take for the building here. Conscript. Tifa going to take for the here. Molotov here to flush them out. And there you go. 
straight through the front door, pushing the gun leaves out in the open. Pant on the move here for Tila Mesa. Storm Punch almost done. In the center, we got Pack being pushed back with the news machine and routed here by Mortifier. 12 kills, actually using the balance there. Thumbs up. Panther getting the field guns, but is quickly deterred from there. Go Panther flying away. Still a doctrine for Tila Mesa. Panther balance there. Pretty much almost clearing out the entire field gun crew, but not enough. Doing punch flying away. There you go. HD5 tank destroy here for Crowd to help further deal with Tiramisu's heavy armor. Not a bad idea at all. Not a bad idea. We got 93 versus 36. And for fortune into the Panther. Ramming the Storm Panzer here. Calling in a rocket strike to make sure stays dead. I think the rocket strike here was a bit unnecessary, but I understand the crowd wants to make sure. It just dies, never to return. There, go Panther and throw to the field gun. Could get rushed here with an anti tank grenade, perhaps, may not need it. Could choose from the machine, the pack forward nearby. There, go Pack Crawl getting exterminated. Machine crew, also in trouble. There, go Pack crew down. Panther there, getting flanked with the teeth and pushed snow. It is an ace, though, meaning he has a high rate of fire. This is definitely bad. And there, go to the Mitchell, realizing Jason Rich surrenders. GG, game over. Over on besides the lack of a doctor here for Tiramis, I think the big ratio of the match was partly again. A focusing too much on center, not on the rest of the map. They're trying to chop his repair, but also just going for tier four again. It's just never good. I think it's just better for more Panzer fours and a few more Panzer going to these alongside some sort of drop or support choice. Their crowd, though, also played well. Can't forget that. Mortar was a nice addition, but also, like, you know, we've got maneuvers. Really good use of the rocket run there. I think the crucial times are also really good here versus Tidamiso. And it's just a better focus and tactical sense than Tidamiso was able to exploit opening scraps, mistakes, whereas Tidamiso just at times played too passively. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. I learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell a friend, tell a family, tell a niece. This is Imperial Engine. Cheers. Thank you for watching. I'm sure tomorrow again for our last episode. Bye.